Hey Cancer, welcome to your love and romance reading for November 2021. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to check in here and see what's happening for the Cancer Collective in love and romance, November 2021. Alrighty, my dears, let's see what's going on here for you guys, for our darlings, our dear Cancer friends. One more shuffle. Alrighty, my dear. First card coming up here for the Cancer Collective is the Page of Pentacles. Alrighty. So Page of Pentacles, pages traditionally speaking, can indicate that you might be dealing with a younger person. So um, this could be a younger earth sign person some of you might be dealing with, or a youthful, playful Earth sign person. Earth sign is going to be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Uh, this can also indicate here children. There could be issues of children. Um, some of you might be discussing children in a relationship. And you might be feeling like it's kind of like a make it or break it situation. Or you're having to get on the same page as a couple, as a team, as far as how things are going to go with kids or dealing with kids or disciplining kids. Um, so children can be a factor for some of you. Uh, Page of Pentacles energetically, for me in a reading, can be putting our time and our energy into things that are going to be productive for us, things that we're going to get a better result. So I feel, Cancer, with the Page of Pentacles being the first card coming in um, your, your reading for for love and romance in November 2021 is I feel like you're looking at this relationship and you're asking yourself how much are you putting in and is it going anywhere like where is it going what what is what is the, the the sense of this or what is the plan for the future and I don't necessarily feel like you're wanting to leave this person but you might be wanting to talk about like, even if you're together, right? Like where, where are we going? What is happening in the future? Are we just slowly drifting into nothingness? Like what's the plan for later? Um, if you're single, you're getting smarter about um, the kinds of dates you're going on or the conversations that you're having or the people that you're dealing with. I feel like, you're weeding out riffraff early on and you're getting a better sense of like who is gonna be good potential for you versus who might be a waste of time and the the greatest thing about it cancer is i feel that for some of you you're breaking out of a block or a cycle that all of a sudden you realized you had and you may have realized this in the last few weeks of october but you're realizing wait a minute any relationship I've been in, the person has really kind of chased after me. They've been really persistent. Um, uh, they've been coming at me, sliding in my DMs. And uh, then they kind of have let me down or they haven't, uh, you know, like, you know, they were all persistent. And here I am thinking that, you know, uh, they're really crazy about me. But then it's kind of like, Either it was a challenge, they felt challenged and they got what they wanted and they just kind of fell off. Uh, but I feel like you're realizing, wow, like I've, I've let people kind of chase after me and I've been with them because they're chasing after me, not because I was necessarily into them, right? I just kind of took their persistence as like, oh, well, maybe they're going to treat me really well. Maybe they really care about me. Okay, I guess I'll give them a chance. But maybe your heart wasn't into it. And some of you are realizing that you've done this and you're like, I'm not going to do that anymore because a lot of these people sliding into the DMs or a lot of these people chasing me like this, they're really thirsty or they're playing some kind of, uh, you know, uh, uh, quest, you know, like, like to conquer, uh, or, or, or to, you know, like achieve the challenge, like get the hard to get person. And you're like, I don't want that. I don't want to be somebody's challenge, somebody's game. I don't want to be you know, with somebody who's like thirsty, like I want to be with somebody that I want to be with, that I like. And so some of you are realizing that you've been dating or dealing with people that you don't like just because they've been so persistent. So page of pentacles for you is going to be like putting your time and your energy 
and who you're talking to and who you're giving a chance to people that you're like, this is a worthwhile person. This is someone who has like-minded goals. This is someone that I can already see they're working on themselves. They're working on their life, right? Um, and so I feel that uh, maybe your type is changing or you're figuring out what your type is. Like, I don't know what my type is. I don't know what I'm into. You're figuring it out in November, right? So this is like relationship with purpose. It, this isn't just about killing time with somebody or just kind of hanging out or being with somebody for the sake of not being alone. What is our purpose? What are we doing together? What's the game plan here? What are we working towards in the future? It's like you need this to be uh, worthwhile. You need this to be something productive in your life. Maybe you're getting really productive about all other areas of your life that now you're looking at your relationship. Like I want my relationships to be productive also. Your next card coming up here, my darlings, is the Queen of Cups. It's you, Cancer. It's that beautiful water sign energy. So Queen of Cups is very loving, nurturing, intuitive. It's wifey energy. So again, you know, mother, maternal energy, there could be issues here around children, okay? And maybe some of you are having to decide, um, you know, who you are as a wife and who you are as a mother in the relationship and being able to separate the two. Or you might be having a conversation with your partner and, and letting them know, hey, you know, I understand you have responsibilities, you have obligations, and you have to be a mom to the kids. And I get that, but I also need my wife or my girlfriend or my partner, right? I can't have you in mommy mode 24-7, you know? So there could be something here in terms of setting these boundaries. Maybe you're setting boundaries around children, whether you're having kids or you're not having kids or how you're dealing with kids. And then like having the different facets, having the different aspects, you know, um, that's the thing we can't, you know, we have different roles and obligations and, and not being stuck in one role 24 seven. So there could be here balance between being a parent and being a partner or being a spouse. Um, Queen of Cups also comes up for me when emotional self-care is really crucial in a situation. You may be spreading yourself thin. Cancer, you guys love very deep and love very hard. You care about the people that are close to you. You care about your families. And so the Queen of Cups sometimes comes up to remind us that we have to fill up our own cup. We need to make time to honor our feelings. We need to make time to be in our feelings. Um, we can't expect for other people to take our feelings seriously if we're constantly pushing down our feelings to get through the day. So emotional self-care is very crucial for you, for your happiness, for the success of the relationship. You can't be in go, 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 go energy all the time, right? So it's a reminder to take a moment and connect back with the heart space. The next card coming up here for you, Cancer, is the Three of Cups. Now, Three of Cups traditionally in love readings can be engagements, um, announcements of pregnancy, celebrations, people coming together to celebrate. Um, it can also indicate like-minded community, like-minded people, soul tribe. So some of you have been investing your time and energy and things that you find to be worthwhile. And as a result, you're finding yourself aligning with like-minded people, uh, you know, people who see the world, how you see the world, who have like-minded, similar goals. And in this process, you're either stepping into Queen of Cups energy or you're finding a Queen of Cups for yourself. Um, so it can be that you've been setting goals and this is aligning you with more permanent kind of relationship or relationship with someone who sees the world how you see the world or wants what you want. Um, a, some For some of you, a relationship is going to that next level in terms of engagement or having children or uh, an, announcing a pregnancy. Uh, Three of Cups here is going to be happy times, happy changes, happy occurrences. Uh, as I'm looking at the Three of Cups, I feel cancer 
that someone is really catching your eye or you're catching this person's eye. Sometimes the roles can be reversed. But I feel that you may be doing something in a work setting or work situation um, or a, a passion project, something that you're very passionate about uh, where you are being seen. So either you're kind of like, you know, taking the stage in some way, like maybe you're you're speaking at an event or if you're a more creative person, maybe you're performing. But I feel like you're on a stage and people are like looking at you. Like they're just looking at you and they're like really kind of um, in, in, in awe of you. So I feel for some of you, it's like there's this love at first sight situation. Um, and uh, and there's like there's just like this pursuing like I'm going to see you again. We're in this same group. We're in this same community. Uh, we're in the same, the same little circuit here and I'm, I'm going to be with you. I'm going to make you mine. We're, we're going to be together. So either this person is looking at you like this or, or you're looking at them like this. Maybe it's mutual, but I feel there's something that's being done for work or, or you're watching somebody in the capacity of their work and you're like, oh my goodness, like, uh, like <laughs> the stars are aligning the universe is aligning like holy moly like wow like I, i'm gonna be with this person kind of thing and so i do feel this element now if you're in a relationship and if you're in a committed relationship for some of you it could be that you've been a little bit bored it's been a little bit humdrum and and there could be somebody catching your eye that like now you're thinking like, I, I think this is my person. I think like we vibe, we're aligned. We want the same things. So if you're a cross watcher watching this, please don't panic and don't get angry at me. But I feel cancer is really needing somebody who's on the same page and who is like passionate about what they're passionate about and is working towards what they're working towards. Um, and so that could be a message for you to take that very seriously. Uh, but I'm not here to address the cross watcher. I just felt the need to say that the next card that's coming up here, cancer is the moon. Okay. This could be a Pisces energy. Okay. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. If you, it could also be you as a cancer, right? It's not the chariot, but you guys are really very closely associated with the moon and being ruled by the moon. So this is you coming into your power, coming into your authenticity and wanting to be in a relationship that honors who you are and what you want. Living life unapologetically is who you are. And some of you are like, where are you getting this? We're talking about the moon card. That's not what the moon card means. I'll explain why I'm saying that. I'm saying that because for me, when I'm reading for somebody and their major arcana card comes up in the reading, it's telling me that this situation is directly connected to you stepping into your power because it's your card. It's your sign. It's you stepping into your power, being in your authenticity, living your life unapologetically as who you are and shaking off programming, labeling, conditioning, and like just being who you truly are and not feeling bad about it. Uh, the moon card, traditionally speaking, is something might be revealed, something we've been hiding or somebody else has been hiding. And when I say hiding, it's not always malicious. It could be just something we've been pushing down or keeping down or we don't want to talk about it or we're just hoping that it's going to, you know, change or go away. Something is coming to the surface. It can be a, a, an issue that we've been ignoring and, or avoiding and we haven't been wanting to talk about it. It can be feelings that we've pushed down for a long time. Some cases, it could be a truth that is being revealed, right? But it's information that is needed and necessary for the next stage and phase. And that's why it's coming up now. Moon card also indicates overcoming your fears. And Cancer, I feel some of you have been very afraid about hurting somebody's feelings. 
And you've been maybe keeping it a secret that you want to move on. You're not happy in the situation. You're not feeling fulfilled. And the moon card is telling us that it's going to come to the surface. And for many of you, the person is going to address you and say, all right, Cancer, I just feel like there's this elephant in the room. I saw the way you guys were looking at each other at that event. Or I saw the way you guys were looking at each other at the um, potluck or at the party or whatever it is. What's going on? Is something going on with that person? And for a lot of you, you're like, no, no, I just barely even saw them. I don't even know who that person is. I just saw them there in that moment. Okay, well, are you not happy with me? Are you? So for some of you, I feel like your person is confronting you. Those of you in a relationship. Those of you who are single and this attention is coming in, there's like this magic moment, there's this exchange. You're having to overcome your fear. And allow yourself to embrace this opportunity. And a lot of you have been pushing a lot of things down. And when that heart opens up and we're opening up to love, as the heart opens, a lot of feelings come to the surface. Let them out. Let yourself feel them. Let yourself release them. But you're going to have to overcome your fear to allow this experience, to allow this love. And to let this person in. The next card that's coming up for you, Cancer, is the Knight of Cups. Now, I know that the poor Knight of Cups gets a bad rap when it comes to love readings, right? Um, because people see it as somebody who's a player or somebody who's a Don Juan. And um, I'm going to be very honest with you. <laughs> Don't get mad at me and don't get offended with me, okay? Regardless of what your gender might be, I feel that for a lot of you cancers, as you're allowing yourself to embrace this new opportunity or this new relationship, there are people that might come up to this person and say, you don't know cancer how I know cancer. They're going to have a good old time with you and then they're going to get bored and they're going to move on to the next person, right? So like say you start putting this person on social media, all of a sudden, you know, people who are spying on your stuff or they don't have a life of their own, like they're seeing, they're seeing what you're doing on social media and they're seeing you with this new person and they're tagged in the picture so they know what the person's profile is and they're DMing them and they're saying, oh, let me warn you about cancer. Let me save you the heartache, right? They're going to get bored. They're going to move on. They're going to they're gonna upgrade you for somebody better. They're going to find somebody younger or more interesting or more attractive. And they're going to maybe try to scare this person away. Um, this isn't coming up to like scare you or upset you, but like to, 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 uh, brace yourself to be ready for it and as i said maybe for some of you the role is reversed maybe you're with this person and then somebody's sliding into your dms and saying oh cancer let me tell you about this person they're gonna get bored they're gonna upgrade they're gonna go somewhere else um the fact that the moon card is here though makes me feel like there's a strong pull towards this person and it's not that easy for you to hear that and just like give up or walk away I feel like you're feeling like I met this person for a reason. I'm feeling pulled towards this person and I need to see where this relationship goes. Knight of Cups is also the pursuit of the things that make the heart happy, that give us a sense of adventure and excitement and wonder. And it's learning how to be put up on a pedestal. It's learning how to receive. It's very romantic energy. So just because the Knight of Cups comes up in a love reading, it doesn't automatically mean that this is someone who's not serious or someone who doesn't want a relationship with you. It can indicate romantic energy, romance, adventure, inspiration, somebody who's very creative, somebody who is very much um, uh, led by their emotions and feelings. It doesn't always have to be a fickle person. 
but you may be going into this new adventure, this new relationship with a very much open mind that maybe I'm not going to take this super seriously. I don't know where it's going to go, right? Uh, but it feels to me, some of you I feel are meeting this person before November at like a Halloween party, right? Uh, for some reason, I'm getting this Romeo and Juliet vibe where it's like you're seeing each other from across the way and you're just feeling very, um, very pulled towards this person. And it's funny because Spirit is showing me an experience that I had many, many years ago. Um, where uh, I had this love at first sight uh, situation at, at, it was a club, we went dancing, we were all in our costumes, me and my friends, and this guy walked in, and a little short guy, you know, I'm not very tall myself, but this little short guy walked in, and he had a mask, I couldn't even see his face, but I was like, and it wasn't like I didn't fall in love with his body, it wasn't like that, but I just saw him come in and he saw me and we just both kind of froze. And I was like, uh, 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 like I just like fell in love with that person right then and there. And we had a crazy karmic seven years on again, off again. So I'm not saying you're going to have a karmic crazy seven years on again, off again. But I really feel like for some of you, you're encountering this person. And even even if you can't see their face. It's like you just something about the energy. You're you're like I need to know this person. Like this is this is somebody significant in my life. Like I'm going to learn something, I'm going to grow, maybe this is my forever person, but there's like this magnetism. Like there's just this pull. And so for some of you I feel like they're coming in at some kind of Halloween thing and then you guys are connecting, you're communicating and like in November you're like I'm going to try to go slow. I'm going to try to not let my feelings get the best of me. And I'm just going to let this play out and just kind of see where it goes and to try to enjoy it, to try to be in the moment and to try to enjoy it. But I do feel cancer that there's an element here of where some of you are letting somebody else go in the process. And you might be feeling bad about that. But at the same time, you're like, I can't help it. I can't help it. Like life is taking me in this other direction. All right. These are general readings. So I don't want you to panic. I don't want you to freak out if you're a cross watcher um, or if you're in a relationship, you know, w w with a cancer and you're a cancer. Um, it, it, it might not be that this reading is for you. So you might want to check out your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus sign, or maybe spirit is not coming through for your particular situation through me this month, right? I don't want anybody to panic, but I just feel this strong feeling or this sense cancer, like you've been wanting to go in a new direction for quite some time and you haven't felt aligned. And just somebody is coming in where you're like, I can't, like I just feel very drawn, very just something very magnetic that th this is the direction, this is the current I'm being taken on. Uh, you may need a private reading, which I'm more than happy to do for you. If you go to calendly.com slash amethystangelite, you can schedule a private reading with me there. Um, if you want to check out the weekly forecast, I talk about everything other than love and romance in the weeklies. Be sure to check those out as well. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Be well, my dears. Take care.